Six years ago, a Lee Summit woman left her growing career in marketing to become a mother. Well, a recent mission trip could put those skills back to work, delivering one of life's necessities to those who need it the most. Logan Blankenship has more. Last year, Marie Schofield, wife and mother of three, got what she calls a life interruption when a friend challenged her to go on a mission trip to Haiti. Frankly, I didn't think I had any business in another country taking care of other children when I had three at home of my own to take care of. With encouragement from her family, she went. Immediately, the needs of the children consumed her, especially a young girl, Renice, whose job was to walk long distances to fetch water for a local landowner, a dangerous job many girls share. One night, Renice was attacked. And unfortunately, due to that attack and rape by a, a gang of men and boys, she became pregnant at the age of 11. Uh, broke my heart, and I realized when I got home, I can't save the world, but I can try my best. Murray formed The Low Water, a nonprofit company whose proceeds go towards making fresh water more available in countries like Haiti in hopes of preventing stories like Renice's. The low water also tackles an environmental issue. Well, it seemed like a contradiction to say that we're going to help one crisis but contribute to another. And so not only are we giving to, uh, to help give clean water, but we're also trying to put less of a footprint on the environment by saying we've got a biodegradable bottle. It's not going to take 1,000 years to biodegrade, but literally, in some cases, in a year, these bottles will be gone. In January, Murray will go back to Haiti to install a water purification system. She hopes it will be the first of many funded by Delo Charities. From Lee Summit, Logan Blankenship, NBC Action News Today. Mm, that is neat. Well, if you would like to contribute to Delo Waters, we have a link on our website. It's NBCActionNews.com.